Hey folks, uh, today's demonstration is how to change uh, the battery on this Omega Seamaster Aquaterra watch. And this is a 150 meter waterproof watch. Um, so changing the battery is a little not quite so straightforward because you want to make sure that it stays waterproof afterwards. Um, and to make this watch waterproof it's got a screw down crown and it's also got a screw down case back with a rubber o-ring underneath. So if you take it to, this, to a jeweler's, which I, I did, and they wanted 80 pounds and they were going to send it away for quite some time to change it, and I thought well I can do it a bit more easily myself. So, and I thought I'd show you how easy it is. So the tools I've got are a small screwdriver, just to pry the o-ring out, um, to get the case back off, ideally you'll have a case back opener like this, which you can get for five or six pounds on eBay. Failing that, you can use some needle nose pliers like these ones, if you haven't got a case back opener. You'll also need um, some silicon sealing grease and just a bit, of, uh, a bit of kitchen paper or something to wipe up the spare grease. So without further ado, let's get this back off. So with the Seamaster you've got these circular holes on indentations on the back and I'm just going to use the, uh, the ends of the needle nose pliers in those holes to get it open. So just like that. And you want to be careful not to scratch the case back, so make sure you get the holes and the, ni the nose lined up. So I'll just keep unscrewing that. Is it finger loose yet? Yeah. And just unscrew the case back like that. Keep going. Oh, it's got a bit stiff again. Get the pliers out. You'll notice for this demonstration I'm doing it in this black box which is really useful for working on watches because if any small metallic parts ping out they're quite easy to spot against the black background. And also because it's got this wall here they don't ping off across the room, they generally stay within the box. So useful tip there. So that's the back off and underneath the back you, there's no ring around the outside and there's also this, um, I'm not sure if it's an anti-magnetic or dust cap or what it is but there's an extra cap which just falls out like that. And underneath there, you've got the uh, the quartz movement and the battery. So the battery is an Energizer uh, 399, I think. It says on it there. And you just take it out like that. I'm just going to put this same battery in again. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to show you what you need to do with the O-ring. So I'm just going to prise the O-ring out. Being very careful not to damage it. And it's quite tricky to see what you're doing when you're trying to film at the same time. There we go. Ooh. Nearly. Just make sure you can see this a bit better. Success. So you get your O-ring out, and the purpose of the O-ring, as I say, is to form the waterproof seal. This is the silicon-based grease I've got. Uh, you want to use silicon grease for these O-rings, because if you use a, an oil-based grease, um, it can react with the rubber of the gasket, causing it to swell and split, and there goes your waterproofing. Um, so I'm just going to coat it liberally. Um, the purpose of the grease is not actually to form the waterproof seal. The purpose of the grease is just to, and I'm going to wipe it down here, is just to lubricate and make sure that the um, when you're screwing the case back, back on, the uh, o-ring doesn't bunch up or tear. So. Although I've put quite a lot on, that's just to make sure that it, all points are covered and I'm removing most of it with this paper towel. So that's most of the grease off. Just give it a rub with my fingers as well. Uh, and now I'm going to replace the o-ring in the groove. Oh, it's a lot trickier when you're trying to film it. There we go. Make sure that's snugly in the groove. Yep. Wipe my fingers again. Now I'm going to insert the battery. Uh, you just insert it against this gold contact here and push it down until it sort of snaps into place like that. That's the gold contact there, you just push it against that. Replace the dust cap and put the case back on. And I'm just going to start to finger tight turn that, make sure it's flat, make sure you can see what I'm doing. It's 
getting it started can be a little bit tricky, but once it's started, it's generally okay. I'm just going to use the pliers at this point. Because you can apply a bit of downward force with the pliers as well to help get it engaged in the thread. That's engaged. Yes, it is. It's, there we go. Now it's starting to turn freely. There we go. Final tighten with the needle nose pliers. There we go. And finally, a little bit of wipe of the case back because I've got some of the silicon grease on it. So there we have it, that's the battery changed on an Omega Speedmaster Aquaterra, 150 meter waterproof, and it should still be 150 meter waterproof. I say the key points to remember there are um, getting the case back off, using the right sort of grease to grease the o-ring and the right amount of grease. Remember the the grease there is just to stop the uh, o-ring from snagging or tearing while you're screwing the case back on. It doesn't form part of the seal. Anyway, that saved me about £75, and I hope you can do the same. Uh, and I hope you've enjoyed this one. Cheerio!